Welcome to First Kids Sunday School. Hey guys, how is everybody doing? We miss you so much in Sunday School and in First Kids. Man, we would love to see you guys. We miss you so much and we can't wait to be back together with you soon. I'm so glad to be back with you again this week and talk to you guys a little bit. Um, we are going to talk more about Jesus today. We're going to be talking about this kind of a big word. Some of you probably know it, but it's the word temptation. Temptation. Now, temptation is the desire or the want to do something. Usually it's wrong. It's not the wise choice, but temptation is when we try to do something or we want to do something that's not wise or maybe a wrong choice for us, okay? So when we think about the word temptation, maybe we're tempted to lie or we're tempted to cheat if we're playing a game. Maybe we're tempted to not be nice to someone. Maybe we're tempted to disobey. If you're anything like me, you may be tempted. I've already eaten my whole chocolate bunny and I've already eaten a whole box of peeps since Easter. It's not good. So all that Easter candy has been tempting, right? Today, I want to talk to you about a time that Jesus was tempted. Even Jesus was tempted. That's the great thing about reading the Bible and studying Jesus' life. We can learn so much about our own lives and how we should live based on what Jesus did in his life. So today we're going to talk about a time that Jesus was tempted. Now, when I was thinking about temptation and Jesus and all of this, a couple of years ago, I did an experiment for my with my kiddos. I know, great parenting. But I did this experiment with Katie and Carson. Anna wasn't born, or I think I just had Anna. But anyway, um, so it's just Katie and Carson in the videos. But I did this experiment. And basically what I did is I gave them a treat. And I said, okay, I'm going to put this treat on your plate. And I'm going to walk away. If you can wait the whole time I'm gone and not eat the treat, then you get two, right? So basically, I was saying, if you don't eat this one treat, then you can get two treats, right? So I'm gonna show you the video of Carson and we'll see how he did. How great was that video? I love that video of little Carson looking at that marshmallow, trying so hard to resist the temptation of that marshmallow, but he just couldn't. He couldn't understand the fact that if he just waited, he could have two and not just one, but he was so excited to eat the one, he just couldn't resist the temptation, right? Today, we're gonna to talk about a time that Jesus was tempted, okay? It's found in our Bibles in Matthew 4, and it was right after Jesus was baptized and the Holy Spirit led him into the wilderness almost for a time of reflection and a time of temptation, right? So while he was there, he'd been there for 40 days and he had not eaten anything. Imagine how hungry you would be after 40 days if you had nothing to eat. I would be starving. I can barely go 40 minutes right now without a snack, right? So 40 days he's been in there and the devil comes to him and he says, Jesus, if you really are the son of God, all you have to do is take these stones and turn them into bread. Just say the word, take the stones and the rocks, turn them into bread, and you can eat them, and you won't be hungry anymore. But Jesus, do you think Jesus had the power to do, to do that? Absolutely. We've talked about all the power he had. But instead, he quoted scripture, and here's what he said. He says, God's word says that man must not live on bread alone, but also from the words that come from the mouth of God. So Jesus was able to resist that, resist, resist that temptation. Well, then a little while later, the devil comes back to Jesus and he takes him up on top of a temple. So high up in the air. And he says, if you really are the son of God, you could jump off this temple and God would send the angels down to save you. Go ahead, Jesus, prove that you were the son of God. Well, could Jesus have done that? Could he have jumped off and God sent angels down to save him? Absolutely he could have, but he didn't. Instead, 
he, he, he quoted scripture again and he says, God says, do not test the Lord your God. So now the third time the devil comes to him and he takes him high on top of a mountain and he shows him all the kingdoms of the world. And he says, I can give you all the riches and the power of all of these kingdoms. I can do that for you, right? But what is Jesus? Last time Jesus tells him and he, and he says the same thing. He says, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Wow. So Jesus has been in the desert for 40 days. He's starving. You know, he's tired. And the devil comes and repeatedly tries to tempt Jesus. And every time Jesus is able to say no, he uses scripture and he says no. He resists the temptation. Now, you and I are not Jesus, right? We know, we've talked about it before. Jesus lived the sinless, spotless, perfect life. He always, every single time, he resisted temptation. That is not, unfortunately, that is not you and I, right? Sometimes we give in to that temp temptation and we call that temptation sin, right? But Jesus was able to resist that temptation. And that's why we needed Jesus to come to, to, to be born as a baby, die on the cross and forgive us of our sins, right? All right, I have one more video I wanna show you. This one has Katie and Carson in it. And I want you to watch it and then we'll talk about it for just a second afterwards. Carson, don't worry about this. Carson, 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 what do you think mommy's gonna do with the camera after we eat the cookies or after we do anything? Like, what do you think she's gonna do with the camera? Don't eat it! Or else I'll cover your mouth forever. And you won't be able to eat. Just kidding, just kidding. Okay, so what do you think our mouse will be doing while we're we'll eating, eating with my crocodile? Yes, let's smell our cookie. Smell it. Now let's be patient and wait. Put your hands on your lap. Kick your feet to the table and the chair. Good. Now let's sing. let's sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. How I wonder what you are. I'm a bubble world to high like a Okay, good job, guys. Now you can eat it. Mm. How awesome is that video? I love it so much. I love watching Katie and Carson together, and I love the way they work together, and they were able to resist the temptation. So I want to just practical tips. Let's talk about it for a second. What did Katie and Carson do that helped them to be able to resist that those treats on their plates, right? First of all, they had each other, right? So it was so much easier when they had a buddy and a friend and they went through it together. Katie even literally like put her hand over Carson's mouth one time like, you cannot do this, right? So if you're tempted and you can't find a way out, you don't know how to say no, find a friend, find a family member, go to a teacher, go to somebody at church, get help, right? Go to somebody and ask them to help you get out of this temptation, right? The second thing they did is they distracted themselves, right? What did they do? They sang Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. They put their hands in their lap. They kicked their feet. They talked about, what, what's mom going to do with this? What is happening here? They talked about things, right? They distracted themselves from the temptation that was sitting right there in front of them, right? Now, this is what Jesus did. Katie and Carson did not do this, but they were young. But this is what Jesus did. He used scripture. Psalm 119, 11 says, I've hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Every time you memorize scripture, that word that gets in your body and it makes it easier for you to resist temptation that comes back to you in the moment just like jesus every single time he used scripture to to, to say no to satan right did you know that god wants you to be happy psalm 37 4 says delight yourself in the lord and he will give you the desires of your heart god loves you. God is a good God. He knows what's best for you and he wants you to be happy. He wants to give you anything, your desires of your heart. He wants that for you, right? 
Jesus in the, in the desert on those days of temptation, he knew that. And he was able to trust God. And he knew God is good. God knows best. And he wants to give me the desires of my heart. So he was able to say no to temptation. Let's you and I try that this week. Let's try to trust God. Know that he is good and that he loves you. And he wants to give you the desires of your heart. And let's try to say no to the things that are tempting us this week. I'm going to pray for you guys. Dear God, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you for being a good God. Thank you for being a God that knows what's best for us and for wanting to give us the desires of our heart. I pray that these kiddos and myself are able to say no to temptation this week. We love you, God. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, one more little thing I got Katie and Anna to help me with this week. So um, remember how Jesus, in the story, the devil tried to get Jesus to, to turn the rocks into bread and eat them, right? But Jesus was able to resist that temptation. So I thought it would be fun if we used rocks to help us remember this story. So I got the girls to each choose a rock, and they painted it. And then they put their favorite Bible verse on it so that we can use these rocks instead of temptation. They can help us actually resist the temptation and live our lives to glorify God. So Anna, what verse did you put on yours? Um, I put, um, I put Jeremiah. Okay. And what's the, what does the verse say? I will put my teaching within them and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. Perfect. Good job. And Katie, what did you put on yours? I did Philippians 4.13 and it goes, um, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Perfect. So you guys can try this at home and have your own little rocks to help you remember. All right. Love you guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.